hello there welcome to the learning of engineering tutorials video lectures so in this video lectures we are trying to find the polar modulus so this is the the in connection of the po the power transmitted by a shaft and the torque transmitted by a shaft by define that we define in terms of the polar moment of inertia now we are trying to find what is the polar modulus this is also similar in the beam also we have taken that is the section modulus that's going to be the section modulus we have taken the inertia the moment of inertia by the distance to the outermost layer we have taken and similarly in this polar modulus we have taken that is the polar modulus is equal to that is the polar moment of inertia by the radius of the shaft so in this case j is the polar moment of inertia and r is going to be the the diameter that sorry the radius of the outermost layer we are going to be considering so suppose there is going to be a solid shaft is there so there is a solid shaft is there then what is the value of the j as we know already we have discussed about the j is nothing but i x x plus i y y we are going to be taking as you know i x x at the moment of inertia of the shaft and similarly with respect to x axis and here is going to be the with respect to the y axis so then i am going to be considering here the polar moment is going to be pi by 64 d cube and i y also have the symmetry so from this one i am going to be getting the pi by 32 into d to the power of 4 right this is going to be the value we are going to be substituting then what is the r the r is equal to d by 2 we are going to be substituting and j also we are substituting in terms of the diameter so then we will get the polar modulus and similarly there is a hollow shaft is there hollow shaft so the hollow shaft is equal to be j is equal to what is the formula in this case also we are going to be taking i x x plus i y because already we have defined this i x x and i y y in our engineering mechanics so then that is equal to here the 5 by 32 so this is going to be d to the power of 4 minus d i to the power of 4 we are going to be taking so this way we are going to be calculating the mo polar modulus by the ratio of the polar moment of inertia by the radius of the uh, shaft to the outermost the radius we are going to be considering so still if you feel any difficulties then you can so here after substitution of your polar moment of inertia and the radius then i have substituted in this equation then finally i got it pi by 16 d cube and the hollow shaft we got it around pi by 16 into the outer the diameter of the shaft to the power 4 minus inner diameter to the power of 4 by the outer diameter so this way we are going to be calculating your the the polar modulus of a, a shaft